of the comic strip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the awesome, amazing Jeffrey Gurian, the writer of this awesome book and funny, funny comedy writer guy. Hey, how are you, Lauren? Yeah, so you wrote this awesome book, guys. A labor of love. A labor of, it only took four years, Lauren. Four years? Only four years, yeah. It took four years. Well, you know, it took three years to get all the interviews and then a fourth year to edit it because we wound up with 500 pages. There were so many big stars that came out of this club. You know, this club opened, yeah, that, that's always a good idea. Hold, hold the book up to the mic. This way people can see it. If they look very closely at the mic, they'll be able to see the pictures. But that, that picture, hold that up for your camera, that's the day we decided to do the book. Me and Richie were here. Yeah, in 2008, with Ann Curry and Gilbert Gottfried, right? And we were coaching Ann Curry on how to do stand-up comedy because she knew where to come to learn. She came to the comic strip. When this club opened on June 1st of 76, on June 17th, Jerry Seinfeld walked into audition. And his sign-up sheet is still on the wall. In those days, they graded people when they came into audition. Yeah, we decided whether they were like them back or not. Right, so Jerry's, Jerry's sheet says good. They graded him good, and they said, definitely invite back Monday, 621. And that was the start of it. That's, <laughs> That's where it started, and, and it just went up from there. This was Jerry's home club. As a matter of fact, in this book, Jerry says he feels like he was born in 1976. When you asked about Ray Romano, the funny thing about Ray Romano is when he started at the improv, he was working under the name Jackie Roberts because there was a lottery system in those days. And to double his chances of being picked to perform, he brought a friend with him. Because he figured if the friend picked the number and he picked the number, he'd have two chances to go up on stage, right? But he couldn't find the guy, so he brought a girl with him, a girl named Katie McCarthy. And he says to her, listen, if they pick your number, you gotta pick an androgynous name, because I can't go up as Katie McCarthy. So of course they pick her number, she tells him her name's Jackie Roberts, and for the first three months of his career, he had to perform as Jackie Roberts. Isn't that funny? And so, most people never heard that story, but it, it's in the book. And when he came back, he didn't perform for two years, because after performing as Jackie Roberts, he bombed and he got stage fright. And he stopped performing for two years, and he went back to selling futons, which was actually an episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. Oh, wow. And he delivered a futon That's to Larry David. Right, he met his, his real wife, yeah. By, oh, on the show. Oh, on the show, yeah. They used that as an episode. And um, what happened was he delivered a futon to Larry David from Curb Your Enthusiasm. And true to Larry's character, he wasn't happy with the futon and he made Ray Romano take it back. Well, it's almost 9 o'clock right now and I know they have a big show coming in. So we're going to just go around and I'll give you guys a tour of the awesome club. So, we're in the awesome hallway, the comic strip. It's really cool, and Jerry Seinfeld. Yes, as he used to look. <laughs> the only club I ever worked that was at one time the only club I ever worked. So what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? That means he's not. <laughs> Louis C.K., please take down my picture if it turns yellow. <laughs> <laughs> he even started doing stand-up here. How about how old was he? I don't know. 43. In his 20s. In his 20s. Wow, 20 yeah. years of comedy. And he, he shouted you out at the comedy awards. That's pretty awesome. Wasn't that cool? From yeah. the stage, he's like, hey, Jeff, how are you? Yeah. That's all. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? All of these interviews. Yeah. So at some point we had to end, and Louis was, he was, had such a tough schedule. We did them here. Uh -huh. Because I felt that if they were back here, they would remember, like Chris's interview went a couple of hours. Because right. Chris would make Chris yeah. remember things that took place. Right. We wanted them here. Most everybody came in. Chris came in, and uh -huh. Jim Gaffigan was here, uh -huh. Judah Friedlander. The one thing that we did was Jeff Reed. I say Reed, and he recorded everybody. Mm -hmm. So all of his stuff you read here, he's got on audio. You know, it's, so, wow. it's so amazing that, you know, I mean, I look at this book and I look at all the people who've been on your stage and it's like, wow, I want, you know, it's like, what do you need to be one of these people? You know, like, like all these people, they, they did to, stand up at your club. You have to be funny. You have to be funny. <laughs> It's 
It's like an addiction. It's a drug. It's a sickness. <laughs> it's a sickness. Right. What's the sickness? So, Jeffrey, what's the sickness? What does it feel like? No, it's, it, 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 it's an obsession and a compulsion. If you have comedy inside of you, you can only suppress it for so long, and then eventually it has to, it works its way out. It takes over. That's why Ray Romano came back after two years. Oh. You can't not do it. We have to go in one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> it used to be it used to be the coat room. All right. This is the famous room where a lot of the comics came to get passed. Oh, very good. I'm excited to to see this. The crazy thing is, there's still some coats here. Yeah. After after all these years, <laughs> there's still coats all this time. So yeah, so you guys spent hours like going through the book. How did you now? How did you cut people out? Would you just come here and like say, okay, I like this story, I like this well, part? It's very but hard. It, the, the, that's what took the whole fourth year. Uh huh. Because the first three years was the interviews and the transcribing of the interviews, yeah. which took an unbelievable. I can't even tell you how long it took. It's really clear that they only wanted a certain amount of pages, so he had a. We had, I had 500 pages, and they wow. only wanted 250. Wow. So we had to cut out 250 pages. How do you cut out stories from Jerry Seinfeld or Ray Romano? It was such a difficult process. I worked with the editor for a whole year. That's how long it took to oh. decide which stories to leave in and which to leave out. But in the end, I have a lot of stories that aren't in here that yeah. we can use for our next project. Do you think a lot of the comics have came in here and they were just funny, or do you think they, they got funnier over time? Yeah, guys, we're still the only showcase club in New York, and that means that you come in, and if we think you have something, you're invited to come back and do late night. Yeah, I was, I was the first official late night host. I was very honored to be there. And anyone could go and go on stage, or no? No, you have to pass. No, they're very strict. You have to, very strict. so much for watching <laughs> please subscribe to Richie's YouTube and Jeffrey's YouTube thank you yeah yeah they thanks Lauren it's so cool can I tell them the the where to go to find my YouTube yeah yeah I'll put a link over your face but, cool. but you can you can you can uh, I always wanted that, a link on my face is yes good. yes feel yeah. free to click Jeffrey's face and Gurian and News face. Network <laughs> It's youtube.com slash Gurian News Network. And, and I hear the comic strip also has a YouTube yes, channel. Yes, comicstriplive.com. So, so yeah, so please like, comment, subscribe, and favorite. And, and just harass these guys and, and leave them messages. <laughs> Thank you. Buy the book. Where is there a website for the book? The website, well, you can get it in different places. It's in every Barnes & Noble in New York, uh -huh. but in every bookstore across the country. It's on Amazon.com. And it's on the comic strip website at comicstriplive.com. And it's on my website at jeffreygurian.com. So wow. you can't not get it. You could just open your window and yell out, give me the book. And somebody will bring it to you. It's worth it. It's worth it.